Hey everyone, this is Jason. Just wanted to share a couple of ideas about workplace performance productivity, specifically around those frequently asked questions. Again, a lot of the things that we've talked about in our articles, on the blog, and interviews, those can be found on our website, womackcompany.com. Today is a very specific tip on using email signatures. Now, there's a lot of email programs out there from Microsoft Outlook to Lotus Notes to Gmail. Uh, all of those have some way of adding in a signature. And for most people, that means at the bottom of the email, they have their name, their company name, their contact information. What you can do in addition to having the normal signature or whatever content you want to go out consistently with every email is you can go in and you can set up a specific set of other signatures that really have nothing to do with just your contact information. They add in answers to frequently asked questions or information that you want to provide consistently in a much more efficient and time effective manner. This specific tip is about how to use Microsoft Outlook to set up different signatures. So if you're in your mail program of Outlook and you click on tools and then bring it down to options, you'll notice that across the top tabs there's one called mail format. Down in the lower right hand side of this window is a button that says signatures. And again, you may have seen this a long time ago, maybe the first time that you set up Outlook you did this. If you click on that button called signatures, it's going to open up a set of signatures that you have. You may only have one or even none in there, but if you click on that button called new, it's going to walk you through. There's a wizard right there that'll walk you through setting up a new signature. Now this one I've labeled directions to office, and if you look carefully in the middle of that window, I said, I checked the radio button, use the existing signature as a template. I always want to make sure that I'm consistent in including the bottom part of the information of the email, but now I'm going to create a new one that has the step-by-step -step directions to our office. So I'll go through and I'll add whatever it is that I want to be included in the outgoing mail message. Again, this doesn't mean that every email I send is going to have this. This is one specific signature I have titled directions to office. So if I ever get a question or if I want to send someone directions on how to get here, I'll open up an email like I normally would, and one of the many signatures that I could choose from, you see it right there, is called directions to office. And when I choose that, it will replace the current text in that, in that current email window with whatever I had written before. And by the way, this is what happens if I right click over the current signature, it'll bring up this set of other signatures. If you do not use Word as your editor, and what that means is if you go into Tools, Options, Mail Format, if those buttons are unchecked right there, you see those radio buttons, if you do not use Microsoft Word as your editor, what you'll do is you'll bring up a new message like normal, up on the top window, you'll click on Insert, Signature, and then all of the options will be right there. If you scroll all the way down where it says More, that will let you set up a new one if you want to continue using these. One of the questions that I ask people to ask themselves, before you click Send on the next five or ten emails, maybe today, before you click Send, simply ask yourself, might I ever type these words in this order again? I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, lots of ways to connect in with us. And again, thanks for watching this short video.